Okay guys, uh, I wanted to show you this custom holster that I got from a place called Ragsdale Holsters. Um, he has a YouTube channel up and I'll put the link to his YouTube channel in the box below this video. I have been talking back and forth with the guy that makes these. His name is Brian and I'm pretty impressed with this holster. It's very good quality leather. The stitching is very nice on it. It's got some pretty heavy gauge steel clips right there. Nice and sturdy built. And it just it smells great. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten a leather holster that uh, you could smell the leather on like you do this one. It kind of smells like you walked into a leather factory <laughs> when you <laughs> when you open this one up. But uh, this thing is really nice. And one of the pluses is on going with an all leather holster like this without having the kydex in the front is this will tend to lay a little bit flatter to the body without the kydex because the kydex is hard and it's going to retain its shape out here when you put this on this goes to the flattest uh, the flattest space available that it can when you have your clothes on so if there's a little bit of room for give, it's going to push in and it's going to lay even flatter than what a holster that has Kydex on it would. Uh, at the end of this video, I will put on a couple different types of clothing and let you see what this looks like, you know, with me wearing it, such as in a case where, you know, I'd be using it to conceal on an everyday basis. This holster is for my Glock 30. Here it is, G30SF. And one thing I noticed about this when I got it was it has a really nice snug fit. It's not too tight, but the gun is not going to fall out of there, look. It's not going to fall out of there. There it is. Yeah, I think this holster is going to work out well when I want to carry my G30. This is the one I'm going to go with, this holster right here. And uh, at, uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and go to Brian's channel and uh, click the link below the video. And if you want to get one of these, just talk to him and uh, you know, see what you can get set up with him as far as ordering one of these. I think they're really good quality myself. I like how the leather on the back is kind of like a rough texture finish. Oh, and it does have uh, the screws where you can adjust the cant, just like the crossbreed does. You would just, like, say you wanted it to cant forward like FBI, like an FBI cant, like that. Well, you would just adjust, adjust your screws back here and put this one up. And if you put this one up, that'll make it, that'll give it a tilt, okay? So you do have the freedom to adjust these and make some minor adjustments there if you need to, uh, you know, when you, once you get this holster and want to start wearing it. Okay, guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a couple different types of clothing, get in front of the camera, and let you see just what this looks like with a G30 which is the uh, compact 45 ACP. Okay guys, here we go. This is going to be another holster modeling session for you. <laughs> um, I don't know, I might start a trend with this maybe. But okay, I got the holster on and I gotta tell you guys, this is the first time I've put it on and the first word that came to my head was comfort. And I think the reason that this holster is so comfortable is because the leather is like extra soft. It almost feels like the leather, if you, if you, have you ever been in like a high quality leather coat store and uh, the jackets that are made heavier and they got some kind of fill on the inside, well on the outside how that leather feels like real soft and pliable, that's what the back of this holster feels like. And when I put it on, it was just like, wow. It, it, it just, it almost feels like you just have something soft right here. Really feels good, as a matter of fact. Actually feels good. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do some movements. This is just a normal t-shirt. I want to show you guys things that look like and represent what you might wear on a day-to-day -day basis so you can get an idea of what, how it's going to work for you. Okay? So I'll just do some movements here. Okay, how's that? There it is. Glock 30. I cannot feel the gun whatsoever through this on the inside. And it does tend, like I say, it lays just a little bit flatter than if I had leather with kydex on it, with hard kydex. This is definitely going to be uh, my G30 carry holster. Um, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to get a Kydex for this gun. I will use this holster. Very comfortable. I really like it. Uh, when you get the clips spread apart like this, the reason they do that is because when the clips are a little bit wider apart, it stabilizes the gun better. Okay? I don't like holsters where you get the holster and the clips like maybe right here where the gun is. Number one, it makes it more bulky where the gun's at. And number two, it's not stable, it's not as stable back and forth. I don't think there's much of a difference as far as stability, but in my opinion, I just don't think it is. When you spread the clips out like this, that's when it really flattens out the whole package of the gun. Gives you a more comfortable feel, because the leather kind of wraps around right here. And I, I will never buy anything but holsters where the clips are spread out like this. I think that's the best design that there is. So, Brian, you got it right with that design. Man, this thing's comfortable. I mean, it, it, it just it feels like, it almost feels like it's soft padding or something on the inside of that holster, that, that backing, that soft leather. Okay, let me go ahead and turn around again, guys. a touch tight yet, which when I get a new holster, I want it to be a little snug. And I'll break it in naturally myself. That's the way I like holsters to be. And this is just a little snug. And I'll, you know, it'll be broken within a week of wear. Maybe even less. So there it is, guys. Let me switch up my attire and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Let's do some business attire. Now, what I've done was I put the holster on the Ragsdale holster, put the gun in there, and then tuck the shirt in. Looks great to me. I'll go ahead and show you where it's at. There it is. What do you think, guys? Looks really good to me. With the shirt tucked in over it. Okay, guys, now for some good news. In the next couple of days, I am going to have a surprise for my viewers concerning Ragsdale holsters, like the one I have here. As a matter of fact, very similar to the one I have here. Okay, if you own any of the standard frame size Glocks, uh, basically I'm talking about the G26, the G27, the 19, the 23, the 17, the 22, even the G30, um, you're going to want to watch this video in a couple of days. There's going to be a surprise. Okay, that's all I'm going to say for right now. Okay, guys, and if you like the holster, uh, click on the link below in the description box. Go over and see Brian. Talk to him. You know, he's a really great guy, really nice guy to deal with. You know, if you got any questions, just send him on a qu question on over his YouTube channel. 
and uh, you shouldn't have any problems with that. If you're going to go all leather, uh, this is what I would go with. If you're not going Kydex, okay, this is the holster I'd go with. If you, if you want to go Kydex, I'd go with the crossbreed. But if you're going to go all leather, and this does have a different feel than the Kydex, so some guys prefer full leather over Kydex, okay? But if you're going to go with a rig like this, I would go see Brian. It's top quality stuff, guys, and uh, I think it's one of the top ones out there that's all leather right now. So just want to let you guys know, trying to help you guys out any way I can. So stay tuned, guys. More coming up. This is Humans for Targets. And I'm out.